Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to run through my empties really quickly today. Um, I have a lot of stuff, so I'm going to try to not talk for too long, but let's go ahead and get started. This first thing um, is a different kind of product than what I usually talk about, but let's go ahead and just get started. This is um, just a brown bottle of hydrogen peroxide, and some of you are probably thinking, why are you counting that as an empty? And um, Sorry about my nails, by the way. I had... Um, gel nails on them and I'm going to get them done this week but they're kind of in that weird nails are peeling off phase so ugh, it bothers me. I know some people probably don't care but I don't like how they look but whatever. Anyway so um, this is just a standard brown bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Um, I mean most people use this as an antiseptic but as you can see it also says on their oral debriding agent which basically means it's a mouthwash. A lot of um, the Crest mouthwashes that um, foam up and they're like white foam when you spit them out, they have hydrogen peroxide in them. You can always, uh, you know, read the ingredient list and see if it does. A lot of the ones that are colored that are more of a, um, what do you call it? I don't want to say a liquid consistency because that doesn't make any sense, but... Um, the ones that don't foam in your mouth that are like colored in the bottle, you know, like the blue, green, um, purple mouthwashes, a lot of those don't have hydrogen peroxide in them, but a lot of the whitening ones do. Um, yeah, so hydrogen peroxide is a natural teeth whitener and it also helps to balance out the, like the acid and the bacteria in your mouth to reduce plaque. Um, so it's a really good... Um, product to use. Some of these uh, bottles of hydrogen peroxide are already diluted down enough that you don't have to mix them with water. This particular one, I don't know if this is going to be able to focus that well. Okay, yeah, it says mix with an equal amount of water. This one is not already ready to use as a um, mouthwash. You can use this just like normal um, as a like sterilizing antiseptic agent for like first aid purposes so you can just like put it on the wound and it's fine but if you're gonna put it in your mouth you need to mix um, an equal part of this with an equal amount of water so half of this and half of water to kind of dilute it down I think what does it say oh yeah it's got 3% hydrogen peroxide which um, is about as much as you want to put on your skin or in your mouth because Hydrogen peroxide at uh, very high concentrations um, is, like, not good for you. It can really um, cause more harm than good. Um, so, yes, as long as you dilute this down with enough water, if uh, the one that you've got from the store isn't already diluted enough, um, you can use it as a mouthwash. It's really cheap. Everybody knows hydrogen peroxide is really cheap. It works really well. Um, I would recommend this to people that don't like a lot of like minty or heavily flavored mouthwashes. This is just like no, it doesn't taste like anything. A lot of people probably think, wow, wouldn't, wouldn't that burn in your mouth? No, it doesn't. The same as like when you put it on your um, cut scrapes, wounds, whatever as an antiseptic, uh, it doesn't burn that either. It doesn't burn the inside of your mouth. I mean, if you didn't dilute it down and it was too high of a concentration, yes it would, but I mean, as long as you dilute it properly, um, you're gonna be fine. Uh, so it does help to whiten your teeth um, over time. It's not like immediate or anything. And it really helps to make your mouth feel clean. It doesn't leave a minty like flavor or taste in your mouth though. So keep that in mind. But it's kind of nice. It kind of just like makes your mouth feel clean. But just kind of normal. And I don't know if that makes sense to other people. But like if you've eaten something and you brush your teeth and uh, rinse with this afterwards... Um, it just kind of makes your mouth feel balanced. Like there's nothing in there, not even a mint taste. It's just like your own natural clean mouth. I hope that that makes sense to you guys. But um, it is really good. I like to use that every now and then. It's a little bit more gentle than a lot of the, um, you know, commercialized mouthwashes um, like Crest and Colgate, whatever. Um, don't use very much of it though. <laughs> A little of it goes a long way, but um, it's cheap. It works really well. It is really good to help. Um, <sighs> sterilize isn't the right word because it's not going to sterilize your mouth, but just kind of clean up the mess in your mouth, if you will. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Um, just if you're going to do that, make sure 
you read the back. If it is already diluted enough to use as a mouthwash, you can go ahead and just use it as is. Otherwise, make sure you read the directions. Some of them, like this one, uh, is half water, half uh, hydrogen peroxide if you're going to use it as a mouthwash. Some of them are five parts water to one part hydrogen peroxide. So just be aware of that. Different uh, brands and different bottles have different concentrations. Make sure that you are diluting it enough if you're going to use it as a mouthwash. Okay, so enough of a rant on that. This video will not be quick because we're already five and a half minutes in. <laughs> so that's, that's a good tip um, if you want something that's cheap because it's a lot cheaper than a lot of the um, other mouthwashes on the market. Mouthwash has been going up a lot, especially if you buy the Crest ones that I really like. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. But I really do like that. It's a great, like, natural do-it-yourself kind of mouthwash product. Um, then you guys have seen these in, like, every empties video. These are the Dazzle Pro uh, Teeth Whitening Strips from Holt Look. Um, I love these. Today is Memorial Day, so it's Monday the 29th. Yes, when I'm filming this right now. And I was on Hot Look earlier today, and it said that Dazzle Pro is going to be on the website tomorrow. So I don't know if these white strips will be online on Hot Look tomorrow, but other Dazzle Pro products will. So if you're interested in checking these out, I know some people have asked me about them. They usually uh, sell like a 10 pack on Hot Look for like 30 bucks, so it's like $3. Um, per package for a top and bottom whitening strip. They work just as well as Crest. Um, they do real, a really good job and they're so much cheaper. So um, I recommend those like crazy. Um, then I have a scrub here. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Str Scrub and Tropical Mango. I really like these. Um, I've talked about this scent a lot. I really do like the scent. It's just that... Um, this is the one that my Walmart seems to have the most of. It's the most readily available, so that's the one that I seem to review more than the other scents. But I do like a lot of the other scents, too. It's a very exfoliating uh, scrub. It's a harsh exfoliant, so if you don't like harsh exfoliants, you might not like this, but I really do. That was really good. Then I have this um, face wash here from Dermalogica. This is the Clearing Skin Wash from the Metabac line. Um, and then it, it says, foaming cleanser helps clear oils and bacteria on breakout prone skin, slough off impurities and dead skin cells with salicylic acid, a beta hydroxy acid that stimulates natural exfoliation to help clear clogged follicles and prevent future breakout activity, naturally antiseptic, antiseptic, um, extracts of balm, mint, eucalyptus, and tea tree help Eliminate breakout causing bacteria and congestion as menthol and camphor help refresh the skin. And it says skin is left clean and prepped for optimal absorption of metabac clearing treatment ingredients formulated without artificial fragrances and colors. Yes, that pretty much sums it up. It's good. Um, my friend Kaylee that works at Ulta says that this is for uh, like cystic acne, which I don't have. Um, it's good for clearing up oily skin. But I don't think I'll repurchase it because I don't really need something this intense. But if you um, need something to clear out your breakouts, that's a good one. I do like it. Um, it's just not something I really need to repurchase. But it's a good face wash. I do like it. Um, and then here's another one. This is the Dermal Clay Cleanser from Dermalogica. This one, I think, is a more universal. Like, everybody can use this. It says, deep cleansing clay formula purifies oily skin, water-soluble... Kaolin and green clays combined with the purifying extracts of Sam, Bucus, Ivy, and Lemon to remove excess oils and refine the skin's texture, calming cucumber and sage, soothe while refreshing menthol, revitalizes even the most tired skin, is formulated without artificial fragrances and colors again. Yeah, so this, um, it's not like a foaming cleanser. It literally comes out and it's clay and it has that nice like menthol minty twisted peppermint tingly feeling on your face, which I really like. It's very purifying and detoxifying, but it's not going to foam up. So if you like cleansers that foam up, this is not necessarily that. But it's really nice to use a few times a week to just purify your skin. It is mostly for oily skin, but I think pretty much any skin type could use it and like it. But I think if you have dry skin, I wouldn't use it too often. Maybe like once or twice a week only because I think it would dry you out. But 
if you have oily skin, you can definitely use this with, uh, or you can definitely use this daily, and it's not gonna, um, dry you out too much. It keeps you matte. So I really do like this. I don't know if I'll repurchase it right away because I have so many other cleansers I need to work on right now, but I do really like how that makes my skin feel. It really, um, helps to clean up my face quickly and it gets rid of the oil. So I do like that. Then I have another one of these Dove Gentle Exfoliating Bars of Soap. You guys know I love that. I'll always repurchase that. Um, then I have this Equate Compare to Summer's Eve Simply Sensitive Cleansing Wash. And it's in the fresh scent. And it's Peach Bounce and Dermalogica... <laughs> Sorry. Dermal dermatologist and gynecologist tested. I've said dermalogic too many times and now that's what I think it is. This is a really good product too. Um, it's just the generic version of Summer's Eve for your down there. It really helps to keep things clean. I've talked about that in a lot of my past videos as well. You guys know I love that and I always repurchase it. Um, then I have a shower gel here in Napa Valley Sunset. This is um, rest, robust I cannot talk today. Robust and romantic Napa Valley Sunset is a blend of Napa Valley Plum, Vineyard, Pomegranate, and Golden Amber. Um, it smells like grapes. It's an okay scent, but it's nothing super, super special. Um, my mom really likes it, so I usually buy it for her, but it's not really my type of scent. It was okay. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it, so I wouldn't repurchase that for myself. Um, here's a body cream in pink chiffon. Everybody knows this. It says, our exclusive pink chiffon fragrance expresses the flirty femininity of feeling pretty in pink. And the notes are sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tiari flower, vanilla orchid, and chiffon musk. I don't know why they discontinued this and made this online only at the last semi-annual sale. This is a great scent. I think this is in the top three best scents they've ever released. And... I love it. It just it's good for just a day you're laying around at home. It's good for a special occasion. It just always smells good. It always works. I love this scent. It's one of my absolute favorites. I'll always repurchase that. I still have one more of those left and as long as it stays online, I'll continue to buy it. Um then I have a hand sanitizer here in the sentiment to be. This uh smells really, really good. It's the same scent as the sweet mint mimosa hand soap out that's out right now. Um, it's not the same as the Miami Mint Mojito soap that I actually have here, too, that I'll talk about in a minute. Um, it's not the same. This is just straight spearmint. It's also not the same as eucalyptus spearmint. Um, that is a little bit stronger and more, like, earthy smelling. I don't know if that makes sense to other people. I think that's a little bit stronger on the eucalyptus. This is just mostly just spearmint. It smelled really good. It was really fresh and clean, and I would definitely repurchase that. I've talked about the hand cream of that scent in my empties before, and then the other hand sanitizer I finished was this. I love the USA and Firework Fizz. Um, this smells like sour gummy bears. It smells really good. I think I still have three of these left. Um, I did really enjoy the scent. Uh, yeah, I've heard some people say it smells like Sprite. It kind of does. I don't know. I think it smells more like sour gummy bears, but it smells really good. Um, it's like a sour, but like candy-ish scent. So it was really good. Okay, and then here's the Miami Mint Mojito Foaming Soap that I was talking about. This is not the same as Mint to Be. I know they... I actually thought that they were because, like, the name is so similar. This says Fresh Lime, Juicy Pear, and Green Mint Leaf. Um... This scent was weird. Um, I'm glad it's gone because it it was just a weird combination of mint and lime. I thought it would be much more minty and fresh, but it just kind of stunk, to be honest. It just, I don't know, the lime and the mint did not mix well in this scent, and I would definitely not repurchase that. Um, I'm kind of glad that that's gone. I didn't really care for it. Um... And then I have another soap here in Beautiful Blue Skies. This is a really good one. This says Dewy Blossoms, Kiss of Citrus, and Sheer Driftwood. Um, this is a really, really fresh and clean scent. It's not really a floral. I don't really know how to describe it other than fresh and clean. It's just, it's hard to describe, but it smells really good. It's not super strong. It's a pretty light scent. It's not uh, overpowering or anything. And I really enjoyed using it, so uh, 
I would definitely repurchase that. That's a really good scent if you're um, looking for something that's really uh, un universally pleasing and fresh and clean. Um, then here is a toothpaste in the Crest 3D White Brilliance. You guys know this is like my favorite toothpaste ever. I've talked about it in almost every video I've ever done. Uh, it keeps my breath the freshest and my teeth whitest, so I always repurchase that. Um, then I have a shaving cream here. This is the Skin Tomate Skin Therapy Lotionized Vitamin E uh, Shaving Cream. This, I think, is the exact same formula as like the scented ones. I don't really think it made my skin feel any more moisturized. Um, it was good. I liked it, but I prefer the scented ones because I feel like they do the same thing. This one wasn't um, overly moisturizing in comparison to those, and I prefer the other scents. So I don't think I'd repurchase this one, but I would repurchase the scented Skin Tomate Shaving Creams. Uh, but it was nice. I do like it. Um, then I have a second shower gel here. This is Pumpkin Cupcake. This came out during the fall. Um, this says, let me see. This says, nothing says autumn like pumpkins straight from the pumpkin patch. Our new collection of irresistible scent celebrates our favorite fall ingredient. And the notes are spice pumpkin, toasted pecan, vanilla buttercream, orange zest, and cinnamon swirl. There is no orange. Not really any pumpkin. Cinnamon, yes. Buttercream, yes. Pecan, maybe. I don't know. Um, it may mostly just smells like... Uh, vanilla cupcake or frosted cupcake. I know they've had that in home fragrance before. Uh, it smells really good. It's really sweet, um, but not like overly sweet, like sickeningly sweet. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely repurchase it, and I hope that that comes back um, this fall. Um, then I have one hand cream. This is in Pretty as a Peach, and then on the back it says peaches and cream, which is weird, but um, this doesn't smell like the rest of the Pretty as a Peach body care that's out. Um, it smells like that peaches and cream hand soap that they have out right now. And I think that's why on the back it says peaches and cream. Um, it was okay. It wasn't a very strong scent. It was light, which was kind of nice because it blended well with pretty much any other body care scent I was already wearing. I mean, it wasn't offensive. I got complimented on it when I used it, but it wasn't really anything that I need to repurchase because it wasn't very special. I really couldn't, I mean, I could smell it like right when I put it on, but it didn't really last at all. And um, it didn't really smell very peachy either. It just, I don't know, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It didn't like stink or anything, but it was just very so-so. It was okay. But I mean... I like the formula of the hand cream. The formula of the hand cream is very moisturizing and I like it. Um, then I have this face scrub. This is the Ole Hendrickson uh, Balance Pour Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. And I hope that you can see this at the bottom. It says Volcanic Sand, Green Fusion Complex, Neem Seed Oil, and AHAs. Uh, yeah, and then it just says it in some other language, so I don't know what it is. Um, this I got as a free Sephora perk. Like couple weeks back um I really liked this uh I didn't really have super high hopes from it for it I just thought it would just be like any other face scrub um but it's, it says it's a sauna scrub and it's one of those instant warming scrubs so it feels really nice on your face and the volcanic uh ash that's in this like makes it very exfoliating and like gets slaws off all of the dead skin and whatever and I really like that uh and the other thing about it is that it really um, like pulls all the gunk out of your pores and it really helps to keep your face matte all day and pull all the oil and impurities out. It's very detoxifying. I really like this. I have a lot of face scrubs to still use, but once those are gone, I probably might buy the, probably might, I, I might buy the full size of this because it was really good. I really recommend that. I don't know how much the full size costs, but that was one of those, like, 100-point perks from Sephora, but it was really good. It lasted me a good, like, 10 days. It was a pretty good size sample. It wasn't just, like, one of those little ones that comes in the envelope that you use once, and then you can't really tell if you liked it or not because you didn't get to use it long enough to determine if you liked it. But that was really good. I do recommend that. That was awesome. Um, I finished a lot of soaps. Uh, this is Kitchen Lemon. Everyone knows this one. 
of a fresh blend of zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. This just smells like straight up lemon. It's very fresh and clean. Um, it's not a sweet lemon. It's just like a fresh lemon. That's it. But I like it. I'll always repurchase that. I've been using that for years and I'll continue to use it. Um, then I finished a shampoo. This is the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. And yeah, it's supposed to be coconut scented, but it, um, I talked about the conditioner of this um, in a past empties video. It doesn't really smell like coconuts, which is good because I don't like coconut scents. <laughs> um, it's very moisturizing. I really like it. It made my hair very, very soft and easy to um, brush through after I got out of the shower, which was nice. Uh, so did the conditioner. The conditioner was very nice too. Um, so I really liked the uh, shampoo and the conditioner from this Hello Hydration line. Uh, the only thing I would say is it got my hair really, really clean every time I used it. But the only thing that I didn't really uh, like was I felt like sometimes I'm prone to dandruff. And I didn't have any dandruff before I started using this. But I felt like once I used the shampoo, I don't know if the coconut oil in it was so moisturizing on my scalp that it was making me have dandruff. I don't know. Because I thought coconut was supposed to be like an anti-dandruff, antimicrobial like substance. But when I used this, it seemed like it gave me dandruff. I don't know. Um, so I just used some head and shoulders and it kind of made it go away. So I could use the rest of this up because it was nearly empty. So I don't know if that was just a coincidence that I just had dandruff this past week, which I usually don't, but I'm prone to it occasionally, or what. So I don't know if I'd repurchase this right away, because I kind of think it was making me get dandruff, but I don't know. So uh, I don't know. That's just something to keep in mind. But um, it wasn't like the most like stripping or cleansing uh, shampoo of all time or anything like that. It's definitely not a clarifying. It was very moisturizing and gentle on my hair. So if that's something you want, um, it was good. I liked it. Uh, it was really good on my long, thick hair. It made it easy to detangle. So I liked it. It made my hair soft too. And it smelled fresh and clean. It did not smell like, uh, coconut, even though it's, it has a like coconut on it, but it doesn't smell like coconut, uh, which is weird, but I liked it. So yeah, it was a good shampoo. I don't know if I'd repurchase it right away, but I liked I liked it. I liked the um, conditioner, I think, more than the shampoo, but they were both really good. Um, and then here is a soap and cucumber melon. This is a classic. Everybody knows this. It's crisp cucumber and honeydew melon. This has been out forever. Um, everyone has been using it forever. I like it. I'll repurchase it. It's not like one of my all-time favorites, but it's always one I enjoy because it's fresh, it's clean, it's inoffensive, it's not super strong and overpowering. It goes well with whatever other scent I'm wearing. It doesn't like conflict or anything. Um, it's not like super like it's not musky or um, like too strong or perfumey or anything. I like it. It's very fresh and clean. I don't really wear the body care anymore, but I like the hand soap and the pocket bag in it. And then the very last thing I finished is this eucalyptus mint soap. Um, this says a refreshing scent of fresh mint, crisp eucalyptus, and sweet clary sage. So a lot of hand soaps this time. Um, this, I thought would... Oh, wait, no. Sorry. I thought the mint to be... You, know, you saw I reviewed the mint to be a few minutes ago. I thought the mint to be, um, which is the same scent as the sweet mint mimosa, would be just like eucalyptus spearmint, but that one's a little bit lighter. Um, the eucalyptus spearmint is definitely... Uh, stronger and more earthy smelling. I don't know if that makes sense to other people, but there's more eucalyptus in eucalyptus spearmint. I don't know if there is even any eucalyptus in the mint to be in the sweet mint mimosa. Um, I have the sweet mint mimosa soap at the sink right now, one of the sinks, and uh, it's the same as the mint to be. It's a lighter mint, but it's still really fresh. I still like that one too. Um, you guys know I've reviewed eucalyptus, eucalyptus mint so many times. Uh, whether it's from the Signature line or the Aromatherapy line, I really enjoy the scent. I'll always repurchase it. It's one of my favorites. So that's everything for this time. Um, I think I'm going to post one more empties video next weekend. And then I'm going to post like an update of my uh, Bath & Body Works stash, like a pre semi annual sales stash update video. And then after that, I'm probably not going to post a lot of videos anymore. I might post some semi annual sale hauls. I don't know. 
but I'm gonna try to not buy too much um, so just keep that in mind and the other thing was yeah I just don't really have time to do these empties videos really for much longer so I think next weekend will probably be the last one at least for a while so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do them every weekend anymore so just keep that in mind uh, happy Memorial Day to all of you and uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next weekend in my next one. Bye, y'all.